Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm back today with another Gasmus video for you. Um, this time, oops. Yeah. This time I have uh, no knowledge on this mask at all. Um, all I know is it's a uh, British uh, World War II civilian gas mask. And also, I uh, know the dates as well, so, yeah, so here it is, uh, came in the original box, which is, uh, always nice, so, yeah, um, so, uh, it's a simple box, really, been stapled on the sides, as you can see there, um, yeah, so let's just, uh, open the video here, uh, open the video, open the box here, you got the, uh, packing of the respirator, <coughs> instruction, sorry, when respirator is required for use, hold respirator by the straps. You know, tells all of that good stuff. Anyway, let's get on to the uh, mask. Alright, so we just got this mask inside. Uh, mine is uh, one uh, one of my straps on on this mask is broken. I have another one similar to this type, which uh, is fully intact, which I'll be showing you later. Uh, yeah, so let's just pull this out here. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's not much to show over the box, uh, except for the instructions which I've already shown and the uh, carrying uh, thing which would originally go around their uh, neck, which uh, the box would be in front. So yeah, um, it's done with you. Right, let's take a look at the mask. Uh, this this is not uh, glass or anything. This is. Um, I don't know what to call this, uh, like a see-through, like, plasticky thing, like, you know, um, yeah, so it's, it's not like, uh, it's not like any of the Russian gas masks, which, uh, you know, got them type, it's, you know, like, poly, no, it's not polystyrene, it's like, plasticky stuff, anyway, uh, yeah, and the filter is, uh, detachable, which I'm not gonna, which I will be showing you in the next video. Which, as you can see, the day needs to be taken off. I'll be showing you on my next one. Um, this is obviously a large, as you can see. Yep, um, let's look for some markings now. As you can see on the front, it says, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says, it says Henley 3 38, which I'm probably guessing is. Um, March 1938. So yeah, um, could possibly be that. Oh, here's the actual date. Uh, 25th of the 5th, 38, uh, which is the right day. Let me show you that. Got some other markings on there. Probably the model number. Can't make that a paper, 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 pa blot. Uh, yeah, so they got a model number 2250 probably. Um, yeah, so it's not much to really, you know, explore. But uh, yeah, so they they would always have had uh, safety pins to uh, adjust. It wouldn't be uh, well. You could, you also had them, but they but they were to attach the mask. Um, yeah, so they would have had safety pins to adjust the mask as well to for easier adjustment. Um, yeah. See it come off. It's okay, it only slipped out. Don't worry. As you can see, guys, see, I've only, uh, I've only like threaded that through, so it's not much older than it. Uh, the mask looks okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not gonna do that again. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you a bit of it inside the mask now. It's like a really simple, but still, not a really simple design. Uh, I've still got the uh, filter disc in there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, 
by the way, guys, don't uh, do any comments saying I dropped the mask and that because that's bad for the mask. Don't say anything like that. Um, everything is okay. Don't worry. Um, yeah. So let's do it in the next video, guys. Bye.